So one of the very few things that I like about Oklahoma, and by few, I mean two, one of the two things that I like about Oklahoma is my gym. It's called Lifetime Fitness Center, the best gym I've ever been to. I've been going to it for like three years or so. It is such, I, I love the gym. It's amazing and it's my go-to place. It's my place where I decompress and de-stress whole nine yards. I love the vibes, I love the atmosphere. I love the workers. I love how clean it is. I love, I love how wide and spacious it is. And with the whole social distancing that we're having to do with the whole pandemic thing situation. I hope you and your family are staying safe for the middle of all that sidebar stream of consciousness. Hope you're staying safe. Do what you know to do. Follow your own heart and know your intuition will let you know, guys, when you're supposed to go somewhere and when you're not supposed to go somewhere. Trust your intuition. It is never wrong. If you don't feel a peace about going to a party, going to a, a, a gathering, a church gathering, a, a conference or a meeting, if you don't feel comfortable going to the gym yet, if there's something in your intuition that's letting you know that that's not the thing for you and your family to do right now, go with your intuition. Even with all the states opening up, quote, quote, or closing back and rolling back their opening up process, follow your intuition, stay safe and stay healthy. Anyway, sidebar stream of consciousness, my gym is open and because it's so big and clean and spacious and the workers are so amazing, it makes even, you know, working out in the middle of a pandemic very, very enjoyable. So I told my mother about it, had told my mother about it, you know, several times and said, hey, one Saturday, you and my sister Tiffany, we should go to the gym. We have a big, huge pool. It's really nice. There's a spa area. We have a sauna. We have the whole nine yards. It's the nicest gym that we have here in Oklahoma because, of course, as bougie as I am, that's the way it would go for me. Anyway, so I said, you should come. You and Tiffany, will come. you should come. I get two complimentary free visitor passes, meaning that when I go, I can have, I can bring two visitors with me a month so you and Tiffany can go and you can check it out. So today was the day that we were going to do it and we did it. And um, so my mom took her car and then my sister and I drove in my car and we're, you know, we're going down, it's on the other side of town. And so we're going lickety, lickety split down the road and I'm enjoying myself and I'm listening to my music, I'm jamming out and I forget that my mom is following me in her car, which is not as fast and not as efficient in my opinion as my car. So I lost her several times and then there was construction on the road on our way to get into the gym, a whole nine yards, a whole lot of stuff going on. Long story short, I lost her several times and I eventually had to pull off to the side of the road to wait for her before I could take her the rest of the way there. We get to the gym, my mom gets out of the car and she goes, D, oh my goodness, you don't know how to drive when someone is following you. And I said, yeah, I get that 100% because I forgot. I, I literally, I was in a train of thought. I was at a Zoom go, get from point A to point B. Totally forgot she was following me, to be honest with you. And, and you know, I'm a New Yorker and she's a New Yorker too. So we, when we get in the car, we go. And I said to her, I said, yeah, I get that. I, I lost you several times. And I, I but I, I said, I caught myself like toward the end of the drive on our way there. I said, I did catch myself and I realized that I was driving too fast. And she said, not only were you not conscious of somebody following you while you were driving, but the energy that you were driving with was so hasty. There was such a rushed spirit behind your energy as you were on the road. What are you rushing for? It's Saturday. It's your day off. We have a full day at that time. It was, right, like, it was around like noon. <clears throat> and she said, what are you rushing for? Like you, and I, said, and I kept saying to her as we're walking, making our way into the gym, I said, no, 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 I, I wasn't rushing. I was enjoying myself. I was having a good time. I was rocking out to my music, blah, 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 blah. She said, I'm not questioning all of that. What I'm saying to you is the energy that it was, I, I picked it up all the way behind where you left me and I was seeing your car and the way you were darting back and forth and, and, and you had this rushed energy on you. Like, what do you, she said, you didn't even ha have time to take in any of the sights around you. You didn't have, you didn't enjoy the journey. Like your focus is just from getting to point A to point B. You didn't even enjoy the process. Like it's Saturday, it's your day off. What are you rushing for? You have a full day. So we get to the gym, they go off to the pool. I go up to work out. And I think, you know what? She's right. 
And while I was in the process of getting myself together for my first round of workouts at the gym, I even noticed that even while I was at the gym, because one of the arguments I presented to her was, look, I wait, I just, I was rushing and I did want to get there. And once I get to the gym, I really do enjoy the fact that I'm there. But once I got to the gym, I noticed as I was getting myself ready for, for my first round of exercises that I was getting ready to do, even while I was, when I got to the gym, I was running back and forth at, at this record pace. Like I had a very, I only had like, 25 minutes to work out or something and I had the whole day so even when I, once I got to where I thought I was I wanted to be I was still rushing then so I thought oh she's right what am I rushing for so I have to say this lesson for the day life is challenging right now there's a lot of stuff moving in the earth right now in the natural and in the spirit that is demanding your attention that's demanding my attention there are a lot of a lot of us are juggling a lot of different things we have a lot of th different things going on we have a lot of things on our plate i get that i am right there with you i understand that believe you me but let me let's all take this collective moment in time to pause and ask ourselves why am I rushing so much? You know the mo you know the kind of rushing where you you get in the car and you set out to get to go to the store or to somebody's house or to go to work and you don't even re you don't even remember turning when you made the turn. You don't even know how you got to your destination because you were you were so on autopilot, which is really easy to do and it's really easy to do when you're dealing with a lot of anxiety, it's really easy to do when there's a lot of things demanding your attention, but I'm encouraging you today. It's Saturday at the time of my recording this, but whatever time of day you're watching this to pause. And listen, you may have kids, houses, spouses, businesses, job, you may be a you may be an essential worker and your your work schedule is crazy so the concept of you being able to take a full day off or even a half an hour given all the different demands and things that you have going on in your life is can be a very laughable concept and that's not what i'm suggest suggesting that's not what i'm presenting to you what i'm presenting to you is you can take five minutes you can take five minutes let me tell you something if you were to get an app on your phone and calculate how much time you actually spend on social media a day. If you can take all of that time, or at least a quarter or a tithe, 10% of that time, to spending five minutes outside on a walk, being quiet, being still, five minutes in the bathroom in silence, if that's the only room in the house that you can have to yourself, five minutes to gather your thoughts, to breathe, to practice deep breathing, because most of us don't know how to breathe, to do a quick prayer, to do a quick meditation, take a fourth of the time or a quarter of the time or the half of the time you spend scrolling social media and you don't have to necessarily go away on vacation. You can, even if you, if, if that five minutes is you in the lunchroom at your job where you work, take five minutes to just pause, slow down, so that you can actually hear your thoughts. Locate where you are. Locate how you're feeling. Are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling sad, overwhelmed? Why? Identifying what those feelings are. Identifying the thoughts that are attached to the feelings that you're experiencing. Identify the narrative behind the thoughts and feelings that you're experiencing in that moment and work through that. Literally takes five minutes to do because here's the thing. If we do not, and I'm including myself, I literally just did this today. So I'm by no means a master at this. I'm sharing it because of something that I'm literally having to, and I'm going to make it a practice to notice as I'm going about my daily life. I literally do the same thing. But if we're not careful, we will sleepwalk through our lives. And once we get, and here's the thing, I'm a visionary. I am, a, I am all about goals. I'm all about vision. I'm all about dreams. I'm all about going for the thing that you are placed in the earth to do. I'm all about all of that, okay? And if you are that kind of person, you understand exactly what I mean. And if you're on this channel, then that's the kind of person that you are. Get that. But if we're not careful, we will 
become so automated in sleepwalking through our life to get to our desired destination. And then when we get there, we still won't be satisfied. And we'll be sleepwalking through our lives while we're in the successful business that we always envisioned ourselves creating, while we are in the beautiful five, six, seven bedroom house that we always envisioned ourselves living in, while we are on the amazing dream vacation that we always visualized ourselves going on, while we are married to the amazing person, the amazing partner that we've always wanted and always dreamed of, we will still be sleepwalking through our lives then if we do not make the decision of quality to slow down and take in the sights and be intentional about what we are doing right now. If you are in, and, and it's very easy to, easy to do right now, to move and to go and to operate in autopilot and in the hasty, rushed, gotta get it done, gotta go now, gotta get to where I gotta go, and God help you if you're in my way, is it very easy to do that right now given everything that's going on? My encouragement to you is to stop. Pause. Even if it's in your car, my car has become my my place, my sanctuary. One day, I'm going to have a beautiful home and the three staple parts, that my three favorite spots in the home that I'll be building or that I will be moving into a beautiful, bright, spacious, southern Mediterranean kitchen, a beautiful Beauty and the Beast library. Yes, I'm gonna have that. A beautiful study, so actually four places. A beautiful study and a chapel, like an old school churchy chapel with stained glass windows where I can go and meet with God in my own home. Until then, this car will do just fine. And for many of us, the car is one of the few places that we have where we can actually be with ourselves. So even if that five minute pause time is in your car, take it. Take it and use it as a time to breathe. Use it as a time to be quiet. Use it as a time to pray. Use it as a time to meditate on a scripture or an affirmation that you have or to visualize the dream, the goal that you have in your heart or to process the emotions that you are experiencing in the moment. I'm encouraging you as we are making our way through this new normal that is our lives that's not going away anytime soon. Pause, take a breath. Do not resign to continue to live your life in rushed, frantic, hasty energy because you're gonna sleepwalk through your life and I will too. And that is a very, that will be a very dismal reality to face when we're reaching the end of our life. Don't wanna do that. So. Pause, take a breath, be still, turn inward, check in, pray, meditate, visualize, affirm, and then go back out and face the world and your life with all of its demands. And you'll be able to do that with a newfound strength and a refreshed, a refreshed pep in your step to face what's ahead of you. Okay, can you do that for me? I think you can. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to like this video, share it with someone that you know needs to slow down, okay? And also leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you got out of the video, where you're watching from. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you're notified when I have new videos coming out. And remember to continue to live your life learning.